Welcome to the newest installment of the Untitled Film Nerd Project. My name is Philip, and joining me as always is Teacher. Hello. And today we're going to talk about One Cut of the Dead. Before we get into it, spoiler warning now. If you want to avoid spoilers, skip ahead to the time code you see on the screen. All right, so let's get into it. And what'd you think of this one? I fucking loved this movie. It was a blast to watch. Yeah. Uh, it started, and the first minute I was like, oh no, TJ, what did you pick? <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, cut! And I was like, oh, thank God, it's a movie in a movie. <laughs> and I was like, no. Because <laughs> at first I'm writing down, did they not have casting calls or rehearsals? <laughs> <laughs> the first 30 minutes were fun and quirky mm -hmm. and i was kind of like huh on some stuff because about 10 minutes into the film i wrote down wait is this being done in in one take and then the light bulb went off in my head oh one cut of the dead oh my god from then on i was just appreciating the shit out of it and then 36 37 minutes in we get a title card and credits and i'm like uh what yeah, I was very confused at that point. Yeah, because at this point, I expected an hour and a half of one take. Mm -hmm. And I even wrote down, they're going to do this for another hour? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And then it shifted. And when it shifted, I was a little trepidatious about it. But once it got into the second half, into the final act, I was totally enjoying it. So this is going to be interesting to talk about because it's pretty much zombieception. Yeah. So my notes are kind of like before-ish and, and after-ish, but during-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I want to give some technical backstory a little bit to this, because I think it's worth noting and worth talking about. Uh, this film was made for about $25,000 US. Holy shit. <laughs> with a cast mostly made up of unknowns in eight mm -hmm. days. This has went on to gross $30 million worldwide. Awesome. This is some Blair Witch levels of impressive and deserves every accolade, every award. I'm glad this movie is getting the love, attention, and praise that it has. Like, the beginning of this movie is legitimately one fucking take. Mm-hmm. It's not a gimmick. They actually, the first 37 minutes are nonstop. So, like, so like everything we saw from blood splatter to body parts to the blood splashing on the camera and being wiped off, everything was for real in that first half hour. It was legitimately one take and hats off. And then you add in most of the cast paid to be in this because this was the final product of an acting and directing workshop. Awesome. And you pay for workshops. That's what they are. There's so much to love about this. This is like the Cinderella story of horror movies. <laughs> like an out of nowhere box office smash with unknowns that paid their own money to be in it. The actual behind the scenes of the movie sounds like a movie in and of itself. Like I would love to see a legit lengthy making of featurette on this. Like what we got during the credits, but more and like more stuff with the cast and crew. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that stuff in there because I thought it was really worth mentioning. Overall, what'd you think? Oh, I absolutely love the shit out of this, too. Sweet. Um, I heard a lot about this one. Oh, okay. Like, I knew that it was going to be... Uh, I thought it was, like, just like they are filming at the same time that a zombie thing happens, and they decide to keep on rolling. I right, didn't know right. about the movie within a movie. And so I'm watching, and as you were talking about the first 30 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm really digging this. And then credits roll. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... Okay, there's still like an hour left. Yeah, yeah. What are they going to do? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember thinking as I was watching, you know, the director is kind of a dickhead and blah, blah, blah. And uh -huh. then we're watching and then it goes to the director and I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to see this guy's backstory. <laughs> and then entire middle period, I'm like confused as shit. Okay. And it wasn't until they actually started filming that it started rolling in, you know, like what was actually going on. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Huh. And I'm like, oh, that's brilliant. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And even seeing some of the odd choices from the first 30 minutes that we watched. Oh, yeah. I'll touch on them. Pay off. Mm-hmm. And it's like, makes total sense now. And, you know, this was just fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it's such a heartwarming tale, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just bravo all around. Loved it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, of course, there were many things that I did like. And mm -hmm. this is one of those positive ranty rants. So uh, bear with me, everyone. 
Uh, right off the bat, I got to give props to the actors and crew. I would never have guessed that these were newbies paying their own money to take part in a filmmaking workshop, like not in a million years. But to talk about the movie, the amount of planning for not one, not two, but three, possibly four, depending on how you look at it, different layers of filmmaking was astounding. It was a zombie film done in one take, and then it was behind the scenes getting ready for said zombie film in preparation that was borderline parody of how finicky and difficult the process is from producers to pain in the ass actors. Then it was a behind the scenes of one take zombie film being filmed. And then during credits, it was behind the scenes of the behind the scenes of the zombie film actually being filmed in one take. So it was a movie about a fake zombie movie about the real life behind the scenes of a fake zombie movie in a real movie being shot of the actual zombie movie. That's fucking amazing. Uh huh. That's fucking amazing. So much of my, like you referenced it. Uh, so much of the beginning of my notes are, wait, why did that happen? Yeah. And then in the second run, we get the alternate point of view, which explains every single bit of it. For instance, the whole thing with them talking about now's hobbies. I was kind of like, this is a little odd. <laughs> but then they reveal that they were stalling for time. Just brilliant. And then the director breaks the fourth wall. And I'm all like, what? Um, my favorite bit, one of my favorite bits was now in the poem thing. <laughs> we got the backstory, which was amusing. Not only was she improving, but totally in character. Mm -hmm. because in the first 30 minutes she's off camera we just hear <laughs> over and over <laughs> and i'm thinking why is she doing that over and over off camera and then we find out that she's lost in character and they're trying to stop her <laughs> <laughs> and before we find any of that out i'm chuckling to myself in the first run through because she keeps saying poem off camera <laughs> i'm like what the fuck is going on and then there was a scene of the bald dude sitting on, on the side acting really weird. Even for the yeah, movie, he was acting yeah. weird. And it was noticeable first run. And then it's explained he drank the wrong water and he had diarrhea. And then the fucking scene later on of the makeup artist having to apply his makeup while he's taking a shit. <laughs> She's like, are you serious? I was like, oh my God. <laughs> um, I wrote in my notes that there were a couple of really badass shots of now. And I thought to myself, damn, she's in it. Not realizing that, damn, she's actually in it. <laughs> like her line, I'm calm. I'm dead calm. Was, ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. The scene when the main actress was hiding behind a barrel. And I'm writing, how can you not see her? Then you get the reveal later. It was, a, it was the crew improvising to tell her to pick up an axe outside. So they just put makeup on the woman's legs. That's just great. When Now got up after getting an axe to the head, I was kind of like, what? But then the way it's explained is really fucking funny. And I love that moment afterwards of them having to like choke out yeah. or the beginning uh -huh. of that, of them having to choke out the wife. <laughs> because she's so in character, she won't stop. <laughs> uh, and, and this is all from the first run when I thought it was a zombie movie of a zombie movie before it was behind the mm -hmm. scenes movie about a zombie movie of a zombie movie and a real movie. I just like how the mistakes were there, but they were done so well that it never interrupted the flow of the initial run. Yeah. Even though they were all, they were planned mistakes, it was all in the script, but it was just done so well. And so much of the comedy worked. Like I was cracking up at the director just popping up and saying, action. Uh, I also loved that the director went off script in the opening scene and was channeling his real frustrations with his prima donna cast. Like him slapping Ko was on purpose. And during filming, he was like, why did you slap me? No one's ever slapped me before. And then his wife slaps the shit out of him because <laughs> she's so in it. Uh, another moment that cracked me up. The three of them are trapped in the building, uh, now. And then the two leads, the director's banging on the door. I'm alive. They open the door. He throws a zombie in there and yells action. <laughs> I had to pause the movie. I was cracking up so bad. I was like, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, open the door. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The human pyramid at the end was fucking great. Yes. It calls back to this, like this movie having heart. Them mm -hmm. all in the table position, half of them are zombies, was a great shot. And then uh, the call back to the picture of the dad and the daughter was really cool. Like, in Hollywood, th they would have beat you over the head with that. Yeah. Like, this is coming. We're going to do this later. Like, it was just one of the pictures he saw of, you know, him with his daughter on his shoulders. And then they do that mm -hmm. at the end to get the shot. Then they have to hold the position for the entirety of the credits. Mm -hmm. That was great. Like, I'm so glad we got the second POV of that first 35 minutes. It just made me appreciate the first run that much more mm -hmm. like the layer of depth it added uh made what i just seen even better as you alluded to earlier 
I was worried when we were getting home drama and then read through drama. Like I knew what was going on. So I was, but I was like, I don't know. And then we had that one older lady who looked like the chick from the Incredibles. And then the footage during the credits of the actual behind the scenes of the actual film crew doing yeah. this all in one take. Just when I thought I couldn't appreciate it any more. Mm -hmm. I was like, so dope that they gave us that. A few side notes. Um, the Japanese language is awesome for telling ghost stories. Just wanted to throw that in there when Nao's telling her story. It's like, oh, it's, it just works. Yeah. Before the reveal in the first run, before I knew we, we were going to get the other side of the camera, when I thought this was going to be an hour and a half of one take, I wrote, this is amazing how quickly they're applying the makeup and effects. And then to see that they actually did it is amazing. I got to say, for me, uh, the guy with glasses is fucking adorable. Mm -hmm. I was jealous when douche lead actor was on top of him in the human pyramid. And then it collapses and they're like laying on each other. Like, come on, movie, go one more layer. Let's go one <laughs> more layer. One more sexy layer. Come on. One fuck of the dead. <laughs> for me. Please. And those are all things that I like. I love the entire movie, but that's what stuck out to me. What about you? Um, I mean, you pretty much hit everything. Um, I will mention another one of my favorite parts. So I love the wife. Let me also say that. Mm -hmm. She was just such a badass character. Yeah, yeah. Um, but no, one of my other favorite parts was during the first 30 minutes when kid with glasses zombie mm -hmm. is chasing after whoever the cameraman is. And it's like very kinetic and running, running, running. And then kind of slows down and turns around and sees the zombie like walking slower towards him, but then running. And it does that like three or four times. And I was like, you know, that's kind of humorous. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and then seeing the actual behind the scenes and seeing that they had just finished swapping between professional cameraman to intern cameraman, camera yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And dude with the glasses is trying to help her, you know, film. Mm -hmm. and, and it was just so smart. And it just added to that humor even more sorry something you draw my memory on the one zombie who was drunk yeah but we didn't we didn't know he was drunk the first run through i'm like why the fuck are you doing kung fu moves mm -hmm. he's like Wah! <laughs> I'm like what are you doing <laughs> like that's not what it... and then like and then to find out like him like like sp spitting on them was legit like he was like throwing up on them and so when they're like what is this this is gross <laughs> That was actually like, I mean, it was in the script for, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For the first run, it was legit. So, sorry, go ahead. And, well, I mean, you even touched upon another one of my favorite parts that had me absolutely la laughing my ass off was when he vomited on the kid with glasses. <laughs> and the kid is just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Like like they're like like they're trying to change him and he's just like what is this? crying yeah <laughs> well, get this off my face and they're not because they have time limit. I loved how the daughter you know every time that Ugh. the true director was like ready to let's get ready for title card and the daughter's like no wait um I just really liked how the entire family and also not the entire family the entire crew came together yeah. To pull this absolute train wreck together. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's just like at the end when they all collapse on the ground. It's just like, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just, they're proud of it. They're proud of themselves. This movie had me laughing my ass off. And it had me, you know, very uh, heartfelt. Oh, yeah. For the entire thing. One train later. All right, let's talk about what could have been better. Um, It didn't bother me, but if you don't like shaky handheld camera stuff, beware. Other than the music, which is just a nitpick, this film was fan-fucking-tastic. Yeah. Uh, what about you? I don't really have anything, so yeah. Sweet. Well, no surprise here. All things considered, would you recommend it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You? I wrote, oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you don't like foreign movies or subtitled movies, check this one out. Mm -hmm. I wrote in my notes about an hour in, quote unquote, this is fun. It takes the tired trope of zombie movies and not only puts a new spin on it, which we've already seen this month, 
but it takes the zombie horror subgenre and puts a spin on it that is fucking smarter than you'd think going in. Yep. Like, this is one of the most intelligent, not just zombie movies, but movies in general. It is just so well executed. It reminds me kind of a memento type story with how the plot keeps unfolding itself and you discover more and more and then to mesh that with zombies and horror and then legit pull off the concept just bravo absolutely 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 watch this movie and you get eye candy to boot win-win yes so there you go uh anything else you'd like to add no i think that's about it cool well that wraps up this episode and the october movie marathon the 31 days of horror for 2019 is over thank you for listening if you like the video please hit the like button share it with your friends or cool people who might dig the viscast please subscribe to the channel including hitting that notification bell to stay up to date on the newest content and there is a link in the description below for the patreon that covers all of the creative endeavors as well as access to bonus content so please consider showing your support. And until next time, my name is Philip. And I'm TJ. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.